when the sessions are over, it's like you don't know what you did. It's so fast. And then you have to sort of take a week away from it. And then you listen. And most of the time you listen and you go, wow, this is like, because we, every little detail we're talking about the whole way, the lyrics, the, the like arrangements and everything. Some of the days that we work are 18 hours, seven days at my place. It's pretty brutal sometimes. One one-week record that I did that I think the week was a 120-hour week, like no sleep, you know? Okay, we'll sleep like a few hours and then we get up and start again. And other guys come in and they finish in four days and it's like, you know, why is this guy so talented? I can't do that, you know? There are other people that I know well or that I've met, uh, you know, really got a good feeling from them. I don't want to spend a week in a small room with someone that I don't really think is a good, you know, person, which is a strange thing to say, but, you know, it's very personal. It's close place, and, there, and if you're with one person, you have a lot of conversations, most of the people that come in drink, and so at the end of the night, when we're done, we have a few drinks to kind of, you know? It's really great. I mean, I, I feel like everyone I've recorded has become a very close friend. So I, I love it. I have to really love the music that they make, and, um, and I have to think that the, I li like the lyrics and, and, like, and enjoy their time, because there's no money. We do it for free, and then the records, I mean, you know, they sell a little bit, but it's the music industry, it's not, the, the, the way we set up this thing is so that we can, so I can make music, but it's not a real smart, good business industry to be in, but I love it. Sort of my solution to continue, to make it very inexpensive and uh, be able to do records very quickly without all of this, these other things. There's a, I could talk about it forever. There's a million things about why we do what we do. Collaboration thing that I like, like a traditional, Producing is what I like. I, it's the producers that I grew up watching that were almost like part of the songwriting process and everything from the beginning, before recording and everything. That's the, what I am passionate about. I'm always listening to those things. Mostly just what I'm working on. That's, that is sort of the issue with producing. I'm always in the middle of a record, so right now I'm in the middle of four records, and it was five to six just before the tour I finished two. Because a lot of these one week records, we record them, and then we they just sit until I have time between tours to listen to it. Sometimes overdubs, things like that I do, like maybe some keyboards or bass, tambourine, shaker, maraca, you know. This stuff happens later when I mix. We have a rule. There's a toilet, it's only one little tiny room. It's like the size of the stage, little room. And I'm like here at the computer and the guy's like right here and sometimes if they're really loud singers, it's terrible, all right? I'm like, even through the headphones, like ah! And I've had trumpet players. You don't want a trumpet player like within 20 feet. It's, I've lost hearing, you know? So it's very uh, personal, but there's, there is a toilet. And we kind of have a rule because it's in the basement that if you're going to go number two, you have to go upstairs into the main house. Yeah, because, you know, it's like somebody takes a shit. We're going to be living with that for a while. So, yeah. But, you no, know, people, I think they're pretty good about flushing. There's a couple guys that forget. You know how they are.